Going through scapular cars, what we want to do is we want to differentiate between the actual shoulder and the shoulder blade itself. The shoulder blade does have its own movement. So let's slowly go through exactly how we want to get it to move. First, what we want you to do is remember that the rib cage is rounded. And when you're moving that shoulder blade forward, I want you to imagine it coming around the rib cage. So we're going to get Chelsea to put her hand right against the side of her leg. She's going to take a deep breath in, compact those lower abs, nice and nice tight. Now what she's going to do is she's going to wrap that shoulder blade around that rib cage, coming into an anterior front protrusion. Then she's going to slowly bring her shoulder blade up towards her ear. Now she's going to squeeze my hand with her shoulder blade. And what I want you guys to notice is her hand is not really moving to the back of her hamstring or the front of her quad. It's staying on the side of her leg. And now we're going to come down and depress that scapula. Now we're going to reverse it, so we'll shake it out. And now we're going to depress first. We're going to bring that shoulder blade into the spine, bring it up to the ear. And now we're going to wrap it around into the front, almost as if you were pinching your fingers with your shoulder. Each direction makes one rep. We're going to do three to four reps. 